Channel News 13, Sky Warn Weather. A few afternoon drifters through the Four Corners, back towards 491, down towards Durango and Dulce. We're seeing some of our strongest storms, however, down to our south in the southwestern areas of New Mexico. But tonight, still, we could see a few spotty showers. Temperatures will drop into the 50s. And tomorrow, right up that, against that 90-degree mark with partly cloudy skies. 62 tonight in Farmington with partly cloudy skies. Could probably see a few showers popping up tomorrow. Another round of scattered showers, definitely not out of the question. Not a whole lot of change as far as our weather pattern is concerned. We still have that ridge overhead still managing to generate showers underneath that ridge. And temperatures are remaining on the warm side. 94 in Farmington, 81 in Durango, 91 in Gallup. Right now, 90 degrees in Grants and wind speeds for the most part. Not all that bad, however, we are seeing a few winds courtesy of those storms in the area. But high pressure again still overhead. What's going to happen over the next couple of days? We get a couple of weak disturbances right along the jet stream that will eventually flatten out this ridge of high pressure. But also with it, we'll get these backdoor fronts into the region that will recharge the atmosphere. So as a result, more showers and storms in the coming days. Tuesday will be a fairly decent day for showers, as well as Thursday. And in between, we'll see spotty showers and storms. And then towards the end of the week, things should start to quiet down. But precipitation forecast overnight tonight, things looking pretty quiet. But tomorrow afternoon, we'll see more activity for the north down towards the south. Watch those mountains, because that is where we will see those showers popping up. So big question is, what's going on with our weather pattern and when are we going to see these big changes? Well, at least through Thursday, we're going to see those fronts, of course, passing through. Then we get that jet stream flattening out a bit that will bring that dry westerly flow heading into the weekend. But next week could bring us the return of the monsoon. That's what we have to look forward to. And hopefully that happens because we haven't really seen much of it, at least lately. Across the country right now, though, we're seeing unsettled weather back into Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Back off to our west, though, we're seeing some showers uh, Getting a little bit drier across the coast, though. Temperatures right now in the 60s, 70s, and 80s across the West Coast. 70s up north in Denver. Same thing in Rapid City with highs reaching the 70s yet again tomorrow up north. Hundreds down to our south. For us, a little bit closer to home now. Watch those showers and storms popping up into this evening. And even into tomorrow, we'll see some more showers. Highs will be into the low to mid-90s, a few areas climbing up into the 80s. Uh, of course, those higher elevated areas will be dealing with cooler temperatures. But 90 degrees for you in Durango tomorrow with scattered showers and storms continuing well on into the end of the week. However, towards the weekend, things should start to quiet down. And temperatures in between now and then will, of course, drop, up, drop off a few degrees. Farmington scattered showers and storms continuing with highs in the mid to low 90s. By the weekend, though, watch out for a clear sky or two. It looks like we'll be uh, quieting down somewhat with highs warming back up near 100 degrees. Overnight lows hanging on in those 50s and 60s, of course, staying a little bit mild. But one thing is for sure, we could see some strong storms popping up across the region, especially Tuesday and heading into Thursday.